Hi all, part two, it's now what, 20 past 12 in the morning, that makes it Thursday morning for anybody in the UK. Um, I started yesterday at 4.40 in the morning and finished approximately 6.30 and we got this far, um, which is the top on and the wheels and the casters and me breaking my back, turning it upside down to get it right way around. Right, so that was an hour and 10, 50 minutes. Um, today we're going to be putting the drawers in, which I've made eight of them whilst you weren't about. Um, and, um, and then we're going to put the door on and then the, uh, um, yeah, the one shelf. A bit stingy, wish there was two. Why do they always do that? Everywhere you see things, it's always got one shelf in it. You know, it's the bare minimum to class it as a cupboard. Anyway, right. So, as I mentioned previously, these drawers, let's start down here. I'll do a video of, the, of just one being fitted um, and then we can deal with the rest off camera. Otherwise you'll be bored out your brains as you'll be rambling all over the place. Now, remember, we have to remove, if you hadn't done it already, which is sensible to do it while sort of bits because you're crawling around on the floor now, um, there was plastic lugs on all four of these. Yeah, they needed um, to be removed. So you could then do this. Locate that one, locate that one, squeeze, squeeze, locate that one, squeeze and squeeze. Okay, really simple, yeah? Really simple. Now, here we have a screw thread and another one, where is it? It's in there, in there. So... No, it's there. It's just here and here. Sorry, the other ones were slightly different. So all you do is you get your trusty screwdriver out, obviously still using the original one, and guess what? Using number 15s again. Pop your number 15 on the end of your screw, that's, a screwdriver that's provided, and give it a little, give it a little bit of, let's give you some, you can actually see what the hell I'm doing. There we go. Put that one in. And now this one. That one goes in here. Again, don't do things up tight straight away. Just put it in a little loose. Same on the other side. the same again can you see what I'm doing probably not no because my cameraing is pretty rubbish to be totally honest and I'm just using this horrible arm that equally came from China and not one of their best things I must get a decent camera thing but and then once we're in let's make sure everything's squared and lined up it's about right just give a quick nip well, pull it all out, and then those squares are lined up. That's one way of doing it. Then give a quick nip at the back. Quick tweak. Don't over tighten things, no need to. Quick nip. Same again here. And here. Close your drawer. That's it. Now, I was hoping they were going to be self-closed. They are kind of, but <clears throat> they have this. Can you see this? Yeah, you can. Just about. Let me move the camera up. So it falls. So you pull out, and it doesn't. It stops here. There's a rubber bung at the back that pushes it in. So it's kind of like a nice locking thing, and they are smooth. If I shut up, you'll hear. Um, maybe over time you could probably replace the grease, which is what I'll probably do. But there is the first drawer and it's rinse and repeat on it. So what I'll do now is I'll move over to the door and try and get my camera to pick up on it without everything falling off. No, my camera's decided to fall off this track. 
for a second. It's still falling off. This is wonderful Chinese. See, they make some of the greatest things in the world, except stuff you really want to work. No, hold on a second, we're having issues. I'll probably cut this here. Now we've got to deal with the door. The door. Remember way back when I first started this an hour and two hours ago, I said the other one came with two keys. Here are those two keys in the door. And guess what? They are the same number as the two keys for the other one, which is fine, except they're also the same number as the keys with for the other box. So in theory, everybody's going to have the same number. So what's the point of having a set of keys? So I now have eight of these. Yeah, eight. All for the same box. Right. Again, all we're doing is we have a bunch of holes. We have to line them up with a bunch of holes. Guess what? We're using 15 on the screws. So, get a few out. Where's my screwdriver? Will that stand? No, it won't stand. Pop it in. Easy peasy, the right screwdriver, the right tool will always help. Put it through the hole. Line it up. Little gentle squeeze. Not even a gentle squeeze, leave it for a second. Do the next one. Line it up. Now it's starting to hold itself because you've got two in. Third one in. Fourth one. Just pausing for a second for a phone call. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I'll allow a call from my partner. Uh, uh, the likes of dinner at night one o'clock in the morning and stuff you know you need to have my life to understand what time dinner is lunch is at about 10 o'clock in the evening no, see that screw's not working i can't even bother to figure out i'm too old for that yeah chiropractor needed or a magnetic pickup which is what i'll use in we go see oh no it doesn't work if it gets tight back it off let it click you know then it's found its thread if it's too tight it will be a classic case of uh, you know about the cross of the screw. You don't want that, right? Okay. Just shut the door quickly to see, it, and it sort of shuts perfectly, as you can see. Uh, it looks down a bit for my liking, so down means it needs to be up. So I loosen everything and just give it a tweak at the bottom. And then start screwing from the bottom. So I lock that one in because that's the top and I, and I pull that one. better but it's there uh, the magnets they step up but yeah this is what I mean by about the quality you know I mean it's a beautiful looking object if you look at it from afar right I mean there's this this is where it was welded you know so why didn't you brush it after it was welded yeah you know, same on the door, you know. Why don't you brush it after it was welded? Yeah. And it's little things. I mean, I know it's not some of the big names that I can't mention. You know, um, it's a little bit teeny. But, yeah, it works. 
and then the drawer you can get more plastic you can see look it says shelf can you see that you see just one though again skin flints one shelf and they've got little hooks all the way down just line it up chuck it in with the door wide open like that you want it to be and there it is one shelf in right I'm now going to finish these off minus the camera because it's in point of view sitting here watching me do it, seven of them and then I roll it into situ because then that's basically it oh, um, yeah that's pretty much it yeah okay back in a little while ten minutes and I'll be back okay I was just putting the first bottom drawer in and following my own procedures, putting the little bolts, the nuts in loosely so you can get it right. Now you can see there's a lot of flex on it, okay? But this is what I noticed. Can you see that? I think you can, yeah. So we have to lift the drawer up, which seems a bit bizarre. Yeah. Now this is starting to make me wonder if this is going to clash with the next drawer in. So I'm going to leave the camera running and see what's going to happen. Do I need to then undo all the bolts in here to lift these all up? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the top one. And uh, let's see if that sits in the right place. Yeah. Have to fit it. What's that really? It's a bit rubbish on there, but that fits in and it's sort of not quite there. So, so I need to be undo this one, lift it, and push it back at the same time. It's a bit bizarre. Bear in mind, this has got grease on it. So, hold it up and hold it back and then tighten it back up again. And hopefully that will pull it in. I wouldn't suggest you put too much weight in these, but I'm not putting tools in this. Yeah, it's a bit better, but it's not quite right. So maybe I should lift this one and pull this one out then. I mean, you can be completely anal, and I am being anal. Lift and pull. I just want it to look nice. Yeah, it's still not quite right. But that's better. Yeah. Okay, let's try number two then. Might as well do this together as we seem to be having problems. Yeah, number two draw. They were about two kilos each, I would say. I haven't measured them, I might measure them. See if I'm right. But again, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't put anything massively heavy in it. Let's just see what happens when I shut it. A bit of flex there, isn't it? Yeah. Is it gonna cause problem? Okay, so rule of thumb with these in that case is there's a little tab here, I don't know if you can see it. Ooh, squeeze down just here and on both sides so you use that to pull this bar so that's as far out as possible put your screws in your 15s obviously you need four of those so gently you could put your screws in as, as, as we done before find the hole there it is quickly spin them in get them just to nip up that's it so you've got a bit of wiggle room sorry for the snot bodily function so live with it we all do it just some of us don't do it in public <sighs> live and let live that's what I say it doesn't matter what you are who you are we all have the same bodily functions <sighs> the majority of us right so I'm going to pull it out and lift it I'm going to pull this one out 
and lift it. And then I'm going to bolt this one in, nip this one in tight. Can't see because the camera's in the way. Don't know if you can see what I'm doing. You lift. I mean, the worst case is I'll have to take these out and adjust the drawer runners themselves, get the measuring tools out and be completely anal about the whole process. And there we go. Draw number two. Uh, the problem is having one of these cameras is I can't actually see what's going on. I mean, I can see on my watch, so I suppose. That doesn't actually show anything. Oh, that's better. Right, we're doing number three, so you can't really see anything. Can wiggle out. There we go. Right. Draw number three. He's just checking the... Is there a right side to this? Sort of a flatter side, stroke a lumpier side, I suppose. I haven't really worried about it, because... I'm going to be using this on my own and um, my floor tiles once I've got the laser off and running and cutting out the shapes I require for my laser parts so I know when it's not in that hole I know it's missing. Right, let's see what happens when I push this one in. Again, so we're, pull it, we're lifting. We're lifting every single one. Another one bites the dust, but hopefully the spares alone will be enough to keep me going. Otherwise, I'll have to move this out of the way and do it. So, first things first is put screws in like so, like this. I'm starving. <sighs> I've got a nice big ribeye steak today. Why is it supermarkets insist on forcing us? I know it's completely off target because I'm talking about food. Um, but if you know me, you know what I ramble and I, my ADD um, just means that I just go off on one time into another. My partner, they're amazing. They just, and my friends, they're all amazing. They accept me as I am. Right, I'm going to do the usual. Pull this back, pull that back to make sure that's tight. Pull that back to make sure it's extension. Lift it up with my hand, my other hand. Not not massively, just put some weight on, lift it. Give it a tweak. Give it a tweak. Do the same on the other side. Just lifting with your finger. And then tweak this. This is why I prefer a smaller screwdriver. A shorter screwdriver, to be totally honest. And of course this would go with... But for the purposes of the video, I'm using the tools that we're providing. And there we go. And it's starting to look sleek. Does that look sleek? Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Right, now here's the interesting one. Because I didn't do it, I just popped this one in. But right, let's go and get the other four drawers. Oh, got my legs. Go on, get old. You wait. You get to this age. You'll regret doing half the things you did. Oh, horse riding accidents. Horse racing accidents, I should say, and riding accidents. Lots of motorcycle accidents. Some idiot piling into the back of me at a set of traffic lights when I'm stationary. So I don't have my handbrake on. Uh, so I transfer all the pressure to the car, not to my neck. Right, let's see what happens when I put this one in. Bearing in mind, this was just put in normally. It actually works. Uh, okay, I will leave that one as it is. Not going to do the pull, pull up. Four more number 15s. Pull these out, make sure they're fully extended. Do, 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 do. Oh, don't let them do that just in case YouTube has a complaint with me. Oh, don't like the feel of that. Back it out. That's better. Do you hear the clunk? That's when it's found its own thread. Same with when you're doing with things with plastic threads. Yeah, always go backwards like this. Hear the clunk? Yeah, and then you know you're at the very edge of the thread and then it'll just slide in. Yeah. If you go in and it gets tighter than you expected, especially if you do more than one thread and you know, yeah, then um, what it's supposed to sound like, just back it off. Let it clunk a couple of times and then it will find its own thread. And correct it. 
I have found when doing these parts here, especially the, the end pieces, uh, a smaller screwdriver would have been more handy because it's in the way and it means you're going in at a slight angle. But let me just check that before I tighten them all up. Yeah. And I don't know, the gaps, do they look right? That one doesn't look right. But yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be completely out. I mean, it's going to probably settle anyway, you know, with use. So I'm just going to leave it as it is on this one and uh, go from there. Because this is pretty much it, isn't it? You know, this is just the drawers and uh, it's on the door, the cabinet. The part two for this will be when I'm building the um, cutting out on the laser. Um, the um, oh, oh, oh God! Um, the infill pieces for the solenoids and switches and chain uh, and, and uh, what else? Oh God! It's got loads of wiring in there. The excess relays. Alternate relays, so I've got relays to hand because my laser is going to be ugh, grease. Watch out for the grease. Right, my laser is um, it's going to be of mission critical to me. So if it breaks down, I need to be able to have somewhere quickly to access any spare parts. So I will be buying in new stepper motors and. And drivers and all sorts of things to make sure I've got at least one of everything as a replacement just in case it goes down because yeah, that's important because if it goes down I need to be able to repair it because I'm working at night yeah and uh, I live at night I work at night the reason why I live at night is because it's not that I don't like sunlight I love sunlight but not to work in you know, I mean, yes, okay, if I was a holiday rep, it would be fun, it would be wonderful, you know. But Jesus Christ, would I still want to get up at mid before midday? No. No, I would not. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a different world. But one thing I do find, one thing I do love about the night is, you have to get your head around this, but you see more. You see, during the daytime, got so much distraction unnecessary distraction yeah but when you drive at night say all you can see is what's in your headlights especially in nowadays when they shut the blooming lights off at midnight it's just you and the road wherever you are and uh, you just see what's in your headlights that's all you need you don't need to know what's going on around you you know you don't need to look at the houses and the streets and stuff okay yes that's nice if you want to see that you do that during the daytime and you meander around. But the difference between getting from my home to here is about 35 minutes, depending on the time of the day. You know, why would you want to do that? Yeah. It takes me 10, 15 minutes. 15 minutes if I, start, if I hit every single red light and every single round light's full of morons that don't actually know how to drive and they're just completely bowled over by what is this? Oh my God, it's a roundabout. You know, what do I do here? Look like a lemon and sit here for half an hour. You know, um, yeah, I've done about over a million and a half miles in my life and I don't, I don't tolerate other people's driving. Give us a ramble. What do you reckon? I just say I'm informative in my own little way. Little being the fact I'm not very tall. I'm almost as tall as I was banging my head on kitchen tables till the age of 11. Yeah. Couldn't see over the chip shot counter till I was about 12, 13. I could barely reach up to put the money in the coin, coin receiver in the slot machines back in the day. Yeah, then with the woes. Right, let's push this one. in. But they all seem to be okay on the top. The, the four bottom ones needed to be lifted and pulled, but still, same procedure, pull the drawer out. Uh, can you see what I'm doing here? Yeah, just about. The 
Tighten that one up. Tighten that one up. Now, I started this at midnight, but I had a half hour call. It's now 20 past one, so. Sorry, 10 past one, so. That makes it one hour and 10 minutes. Call it a 20 minute call. So, one hour, not uh, 50 minutes. That pink. No, that's fine. And then the last one, here we go. This is it. And then I'll show you the other annoying quirk with this machine. With machine is to oh, now look at the gap on that, right? Mm. Okay, I'll let them settle for a couple of weeks before I start fanning around with the gap. Am I allowed to say that? Messing around with them, um, with gaps and stuff. Just once I've got stuff in, see, actually, this one's a wobbly as well. Oh, you can't see that, can you? because I'm rubbish at cameras and stuff. But I would if I bought something better than a Chinese old well I didn't know I was gonna do any of this so come on nightmare thing. That's it, right, we're there. Here yeah, look. Not square. Right. And even though two fell on the floor I still have four left over. See, I did, I did say they keep the, they give you a few extras, which is so cool, you know. Not just one, you get two. Oh, why isn't that going in? Mm. Why is that not going in? Okay, just hold on a second. Just make sure it's not me. Yeah, it must be where well, it's the way it's lined up. Doesn't have a burking camera in the way. There we go, in it goes. Bit finickety. Is that the right word? Ah, uh, me and the use of words. Or should I say my use of words? It's not great. I didn't start talking until I was kind of like proper conversation until I was about seven. And now I can't shut up. Yeah, I live with someone who loves to be silent. It's really bizarre. To the opposites attract. Yeah. I'm slightly dumpy, they're not. Well, depending on what you call slightly, I suppose. Okay. That's worked. I'm interested in this drawer here. Uh, but, um, pull them out again, make sure they're okay. Tighten them up. I'm going to have a look at that drawer because it just seems so ridiculously out. Now, as with my toolbox at home, that's a mechanical toolbox designed for mechanics and stuff. Um, it's, it comes with really nice rollers, and so over a period of years, you just give it a bit of a lube. I use white silicone grease. Um, yeah, I need to do something with this. This drawer needs to be looked at. What happens if I just do this? Give it a tweak. Okay, that's the drawer we put in, isn't it? First of all, if you remember. So if I loosen this one and lift it a little bit, like I did with the rest, might just fit in a little bit better. There we go. Yeah, it looks better. And now the next one looks rubbish. Well, let's fill it full of crap and see what happens. Right, well, that's kind of it, really. Sort of stand back and admire your work. Let me get the camera because now we come to the fun bit right so here you go here is the ultra high hd not too sure what the hd stands for um seville classics and i fell in love with it because it was stainless steel and it wasn't bright red bright orange bright blue you know it wasn't painted it wasn't cream it was stainless steel and it complements that one in my messy yard. Now, 
here goes the fun bit. We've got two sets of keys, remember? Which is pretty pointless, but they're, but they're both 806s or 908s, depending on where it's, and funny enough, it's the same as those. So these keys, keys fit that, and that, and that, I'm never gonna lose a key, I don't need any cut. Right, but here's the annoying thing. Again, it's probably just an OCD thing. Yeah, that fits in like that. We know that's open. Is my camera upside down? No, it's not. And then this one is sideways. Just not good for someone who suffers from OCD. Yeah. Um, so I can't have the keys in. I can't have the locks in, but I, I don't need it locking, you know. Um, and, the, and the keys, I'll have one on my key, my key ring and give one to my partner just in case. And then the other six will just live in the drawers. Yeah, forever and a day, but there it is. Um, one needs a bit of a clean. Got these scrapey bits. Like this. this is when it was scraping along the uh, um, cardboard and stuff. So it scratches very easily, and I've got grease on my fingers. Clearly, yeah. Um, but it's a working tool. But yeah, look at these handles. I just can't get on with these. Yeah, that by the way is a, uh, a Rover P6 uh, carpet set, manual and automatic, left and right hand drive. They're the templates we use. I use, we use, I suppose. Yeah. So, things I don't like are these horrible handles. I haven't quite figured out how to get around them. Any ideas welcoming? Um, these. These look smart, but you see, what would have been nice is if they just included a bracket that went along here so it could join up with that one. Because if you take the wheels off, yeah, you're still going to have the bumpers, you know, or you could take the bumpers off, but you can face fit it against the next one. So a bracket here, guys, would have been nice. So I'm going to make one of them up. So, so if in the event I need to move them together. But at the moment I don't because uh, it's my emergency door, which I've got to sort that out as well. Um, and the keys, really annoying. Really annoying keys, yeah. For someone who's, who 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 likes things symmetrical, I these drawers. I mean, you might not be able to see it. Maybe it's just me, but there's definitely a bigger gap here. Yeah, but do I love it? Yeah, of course I do. Is it worth four hundred quid? Absolutely. I've seen so much trash for six, seven hundred quid. You know, when I saw these, I thought, ooh. Then I looked at some of the reviews, looked at some of the YouTube stuff on it, and, and they all kind of loved it. So, yeah, so I thought, fine, give it a whirl. When the first one came, bitterly disappointed that it wasn't a four draw, uh, an eight draw. But that got resolved with, God, online text messaging. God, do I hate that world we live in at the moment. Please, suppliers, it's nice to have online yeah, support, but please talk to me. You know, our, our business in, in, in infrastructures around the entire world were built on communication by voice. Oh, this is going to be upside down, isn't it? Typical. Uh, Mr. No Nails here. Um, you know, bring back communication with voice. It gets so much done. I have an eBay shop and it's such a nightmare. Trying to talk to people. I mean, eBay will literally shut your account down. They're just not the nicest company. I've been there 20 years nearly. I can't get this off. I can't see the bit. Yeah, and uh, yeah, their rules and regulations are all designed to make sure they maximise profits for their shareholders. But what they forget is, don't look after the pennies. The pennies, you and I, the people who supply the stuff, the people who make the stuff, you know, the shareholders you know, are not the most important people in eBay, but you try telling eBay that, the minute they arrived, Jesus Christ, the whole world went to, eBay went to hell. And, uh, and I battled with them for over nearly a decade now. It was 2016. And uh, it's been an uphill battle, and they just, just won't change. They won't listen to you, you know? I love them, you know, but... You know, you can't get everything on eBay anymore. Yeah, you can't get everything on Amazon either. I'm just giving up, by the way. I'm just giving up trying to find the tag. Yeah. I don't want to use a 
tool or something with our guaranteed scratch it and that'll just annoy me even more. And, but I just, ah, come on. Blooming thing. It doesn't help. No, I have in the house. Oh God, I'm gonna get a screwdriver. I'm gonna get a blade out in a minute. I'm doing it. That's it, I've had enough. My trusty blade. No plug. Garden store direct.com are the people that supplied it fantastic people will always use them again they are i believe the sole suppliers of these so um and they were wonderful once you get to speak to a human it's on this online well they were even wonderful on the online stuff as well i can't i can't knock them you know and they came through so yeah they're they're a good company i like them and and, and after speaking to phil the managing director yeah i like him even more you know, he was a down-to-earth guy, and you don't often get that. You know, so there we go. There it is. Um, now I'm just because I'm going to have to spend the next two days cutting carpets like a dervish, like two twelve-hour stints um, by hand until this blooming thing's finished. Hopefully, this lot will be finished in the end. Oh, yeah, yeah we will talk about that on another video. Um, yeah, the ins and outs of. Um, Companies providing me products. But yeah, so here we go. There we go. If you want to lock it, yeah, keep your bits and pieces safe. That should lock everything. That's locked, that's locked, 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 locked. Well, I assume it is. I'm going to pull it harder. Yeah. Yeah, because now I may at some point change the runners because me being anal. I kind of like that soft glide, soft close thing. And they're just standard issue, you know? Yeah, so that may happen later. Uh, the bigger drawers, this one over here, yeah, this is they're just full of junk now at the moment, as you would expect, you know, for the time being. Yeah, um, this, this, this stuff doesn't, I, I don't really like this. It's all crinkly and there's, there's some more 806 or is it 908? 806 or 908 yeah same keys yeah um clearly this is never going to be up to this company's standards but then again to get something like this if i just run over something inside the bottom drawer next drawer down get something like this in that company's brand you're talking two grand so there's no comparison you know 400 quid you know Including these horrible things, yeah, you know, and my OCD annoying things, you know, you can't go wrong. Yeah, so go to the uh, garden store direct.com and buy them. And they've got they've got everything, you know, you could think of, you know, in that place when it comes to these things. So uh, this won't be the last um, you see of this. With this, it won't be the last time I buy one. Um, but yeah, um, I'm looking at that bench, which is my old packing bench. And that's ooh, 25, 30 years old. Time to replace it. If I could put everything in there. I must get around to paint this place. Um, but yeah, enjoy. Go and buy one. You know, I mean, okay, before I go, yeah. Would I use this in a garage environment? Would it stand up? Yeah. Um, yeah, I suppose it would. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to use this every day. This is going to be standing over by the laser cutting machine and it's going to have all the tools in it. It's going to have all the uh, nuts and bolts and belts and everything I've used. In, um, so in the event I, I need to repair it, it's here. Um, so it's going to be in a casual use. The cupboard, on the other hand, I'm, I'm starting to think maybe I could get the compressor in there. Yeah. I mean, there's plenty of aeration, so I might look at that, but then again, the compressor might vibrate the hell out of it, so it might sound god-awful. Um, but yeah, I think the compressor is just going to go underneath the, the, the uh, um, table. But yeah, so here he is. Um, it wheels about. Oops, going over the carpet set there. It's not unwieldy. And the brakes, as we know, um, 
you can't see that, or you can just about see that one, but trying to get that one off. To, oh, that's, that's, an, that's an absolutely useless brake effect. No, that doesn't really break, does it? That one, okay, let's hope the one on the outside breaks. That's on. Yeah. Arr, oh, there we go. Right, you have to really tug at it. Okay, the bumps are in the way, but you pay your price. Nice big wheels though, nice big fat wheels. You could have got worse. Yeah, right, I'm now gonna put this in place and I'm gonna do some carpet work. All right, um, comments please, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm not, I'm not a big youtube -y person thing. This is kind of my first ever unboxing to build something, but I thought it was worth it, you know. And I said to Phil I would do because they were so nice and uh, and uh, helped me out here. So not sponsored, but just gave me a discount, you know, for the mess up with that one. And uh, and I might get a future discount on something else as well. But yeah, it's been a pleasure working with them. I'm really pleased that we had a one to one. And yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now. OK, thanks a lot, everyone. Cheers. Bye. Those drawers here. But this is what it looks like sitting next to my laser, which is exactly what it's designed for. And once the uh, laser's been covered with aluminium, um, hey look, blending quite nicely. Fits in nicely with the wall, doesn't have that stop me from opening the door. And uh, yeah, here we go. Fits perfectly, exactly how I find, finally got a measurement right. Yeah, this will be stainless, it'll be late. I'm gonna get rid of this white stuff. But yeah, there we go. Just what I wanted, just what the doctor orders, as they say. And apart from those horrendous handles, um, it looks lovely. Yeah, the other thing is, is it me or is that not on straight? The other one definitely isn't, I'm sure of it, yeah. Again, sorry about the scrap place. I normally feel bad. Just, they just look like they're not symmetrical. Uh, I don't know. Maybe just me being OCD again. But yeah, love it. Yeah, I've got to get the drawers lined up though. Um, but that'll come with use. It'll, it'll settle. And uh, we'll see in six months to 12 months how it is. Hopefully I never have to open it again because everything works on my laser fine. But we'll soon figure that out um, when we start using it full time. Okay, guys, this has been really uh, my first ever unboxing video. Uh, through to the end for the Ultra HD Seville Classics 8 drawer plus one cupboard, stainless steel and black workstation, I suppose. Trolley, well, I don't know what you call it. Um, yeah, um, just up my alley. Not too pr outrageous does the job and uh, looks quite nice whilst doing it. Apart from the keys are on the wall, but that's an OCD thing. Um, yeah, thanks a lot, bye. One last plug for the people that sold this to me. This and the other one I bought, the four drawer version came from the garden store, direct.com. And um, yeah, I filled it with some stuff. Uh, they won't live there. Just seeing how things went. Just stuff. Yeah. Until until I get the dividers and everything else, I can't pull the nuts and bolts in here. But I was just seeing how it handled stuff. Yeah, wiring and stuff. All required. Ugh. Belts. Stuff. Water cooling connectors. Stuff. And then the last one, the, the drag chains and stuff. I mean, they're not deep, but I didn't want them deep. Yeah, I just wanted them shallow enough to put stuff in, but not too deep. There we go. Thank you, GardenStoreDirect.com. I really appreciate you importing these. Um, and you haven't seen the last of me yet. I will definitely be buying some more. Here is a logo. A mine, by the way, www.techautos.co.uk. It's an old site, but I'm waiting for a new one to be finally finished and uploaded. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.